Okay, uh, here's a tutorial in how to remove a background from from you know objects or you know images. So here, my objective is removing the background of of this bird here and putting a different background. Now, of course, you can do it in Photoshop or a different graphic software, but in Corel, like if you're doing web graphics and you know that pixels would be smaller and then you know you won't really notice a lot of pixels when you crop it like the sharp edges you can do it in Corel so the first thing you have to do is we're going to create an object or a shape okay tracing this outline of the bird okay so in order to do that you go to this tool here okay freehand tool okay it's one two three four fifth tool from the top and you go to the second option which is Bezier tool so how does Bezier tool work? okay Bezier tool work is when I click 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 and then I close it then it's a shape right okay that's how Bezier uh, works so what I'm gonna do is going to I'm gonna zoom in here first okay that's the okay I'm gonna make a shape now Bezier tool and I'm just going to you know make a shape in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go 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 I'm just going to trace it all around to make an object we'll just do it quickly here I won't really go to details of the shape but but I'm just going to show you my objective here and how the how this effect works okay so i'm almost done so i'll just make a rough 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 if you're really picky you can really zoom in and then you can just trace really nicely but here and then i'll close it here okay. now if i copy that i pull up put a fill on it i have an object but the problem is i don't have i have to have like a cutout here too so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the fill first, and then I'm going to zoom in this part, okay, zoom out, and then I'll create an object again here. Okay, I'll just do it quickly here. Okay, zoom out. Now I have two objects. I have this object here, and then I also have this object here. We have to combine these two objects, so this will be hollow. So click on the gray object, and then hit on Shift in your keyboard. Just hold Shift, and click on the blue object, and then you go to Arrange, and then Combine. Now I have the object. Now the only thing I have to do here is to click on the image from the web, and you go to Effects, Power Clip, place inside the container and which is my container my container is the blue uh, shape that I did and click on it and there you go now for example you want to edit something inside you just click on the object and you go to effects power clip edit content because sometimes sometimes your image would be like that right so it's not aligned to that blue shape so what you're gonna do is you gotta align it. I'm going to move that over. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, let's zoom in here. See that blue outline? Now you have to make sure that that in the bird is inside that outline. And then if you're happy with it, just go click on Finish Edit Object. And there you go. Now we can just remove the outline. You click on the outline tool and click on X. Now we can go to the internet. Okay, let's go to. Yeah, okay, let's go to. Let's go to Google. Okay, and uh, click on image. Okay, I'll just put here. Uh, I don't know what you want to put here. You want to put here like. Uh, anyway, I'll just find uh, maybe sunset. Okay, so now I have an image, 
you know, I'll just copy it here. There you go. Now here, what happened here? Okay, the bird is behind this picture. So what I'm gonna do, putting this object behind, I go to arrange, order, and put to back of the page. There you go. Now I've got a bird in a different background now. There you have it.